Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing all super well in this festival season. Uh, this video was a requested one and um, I'm gonna to review for you Louis Vuitton Coffrade Trezor 20. So if you are interested, keep watching. Coffrade Trezor 20 is part of Louis Vuitton trunk collection. It is the smallest piece of the hard-sided luggage that Louis Vuitton created, but it has all characteristics of the large ones. As you can see, it is made of coated canvas. This one is monogram. Monogram canvas has been designed by Louis Vuitton Saint George in 1896. And as we all know, the coated canvas is very famous for its durability. It is resistant to water and any scratches. So it was uh, used and still is used for all the trunks. And it is amazing. As I always said in my previous videos, the coated canvas it has amazing durability and I love it for like everyday bags. If you go to Louis Vuitton website, the variety of Louis Vuitton trunks is uh, quite big. Uh, so you can choose from different sizes that serve also different purposes. This trunk, um, 20 actually, the name came from 20 because the, the length is 20 centimeters, the height is 11 centimeters and the width is 13 centimeters. You see uh, this Corners around the trunks are uh, covered by cohide leather with the LV logo. The corners of the trunks are metal. As you can see, I still got the stickers on it. <laughs> Pretty new, right? It does have a lock uh, that Louis Vuitton is so famous for because it's the first uh, they started to use the multiple lock system. When you open it, oops. It is lined with the microfiber lining. My one is in red color. Official color is Roche Fusion, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And on the Australian website, uh, you can choose different uh, color of the lining. There is another brown and fuchsia. When I went to the Louis Vuitton Exotic and Trunk Showcase that Louis Vuitton organizes every year, I saw this little trunk with the blue microfiber lining and it was really gorgeous. So for male, I think the blue is really, really nice, guys. It is currently not available and as an option on a, a website, at least not on an Australian website, but guys, it is really beautiful. For male, uh, I would definitely choose that one. I mean, you can still ask Louis Vuitton if they uh, can make it, right? It does come with this divider which is a little bit hopeless, but I will get to it. And it comes with these two keys. And obviously the rest, like the dust bag and all the stuff. When I went to this Louis Vuitton showcase, I really fall in love with all the trunks. Um, obviously the big one is not suitable for my place where I currently live, but I was tossing between these and the jewelry box which i show you here unfortunately i um, already have in place a system how i organize my jewelry i've got a lot of jewelry so uh, the little box would definitely not uh, suffice for me so i decided to go with the little trunk and i straight away when i saw it had in mind how i will style it or what i will use it for uh, for me, the main purpose was decorative. I wanted to have it in the living room at a table, you know, to cover it with a Louis Vuitton uh, cover, then put a, like a glass on top of it, and the Louis Vuitton trunk with flowers. I haven't done it yet, but I want to do it in my new place when I will furnish it a little bit differently so it will suit uh, the trunk as well. After purchase, I use it in my study at the desk as a decorative piece. Currently, I use it on the shelves uh, where I showcase my handbags and I'll show you a picture here also as a decorative piece and I love it. I mean, it's a beautiful piece just to look at it. This piece has the plaque of Louis Vuitton in leather. This one is made in France. I'm not sure if you can see it. That this uh, particular 
trunk, according to the website, was designed to hold any leather pieces or uh, jewelry. For that, hmm, not really big fan of it. For leather pieces, for example, I have these uh, Louis Vuitton leather bracelets. Now I put them here. If I've got a divider and I put it here and I've got another leather pieces on top, right? So can you see? They are sitting there. Now, if I want to go to the bottom one and I lift this divider, automatically they slide and they slide like sort of in. So it is hard to close it afterwards. So that would really annoy me if I would want to use it for storing my leather pieces. Anyhow, I think it would be uh, good to use for, you know, the bracelets that Chanel has, like the thick ones, like you can pop it like this, or the Hermes click clack. So you would not use the divider. Also, um, you can use it maybe for men, for cigars, no idea. But they definitely do the pranks as well for cigars, if I'm not mistaken. Also, I brought my watch just to show you. This is the female small Apple Watch. It's old, guys. I do not use watches whatsoever. So it's, I'm sorry, but I don't have any more watches uh, to show you. Uh, so, so if you would put it here, you can fit like sort of four watches and then put the divider and the watches on top, right? Again, you have the issue that it will slide a little bit. So if you don't mind it, it definitely go for it. Louis Vuitton does actually the trunk for watches as well. The only thing that I came up, like how you can store the jewelry, the bigger pieces at the bottom, and then, you know, when you buy jewelry, you get these little pins, so you can pin your ring or earrings like so, and put the divider in, so when you lift it, it doesn't slide off. Would I ever do it, guys? Not really. Uh, because, as I said, I've got a lot of jewelry and I change jewelry every like, day according to my outfit and would I be bothered to pin it in, pin it out? No. Anyhow, it is too small for my jewelry. If you change jewelry once a month, you don't have too uh, many pieces, that's fine. Um, it would be a beautiful piece for storing jewelry. Uh, however, guys, the use of this little thing is endless, like you can use it for many other things, your personal stuff, you can just uh, decorate it, it's, it looks beautiful on the shelf, uh, as such, you don't need to put anything in it, um, currently I have only flowers in it, so it's uh, more than enough. And it's just beautiful. When you purchase the trunk, you can also personalize it, and their own artists will paint it on it. So it can be any of the designs that you choose, or you bring one, or just your initials. As you can see, my trunk is totally naked, nothing on it because I couldn't choose. And I think for the little piece, it's just beautiful to have it as it is. I brought for you my petit mal, just to compare it. I mean, it's hard-sided bag that Louis Vuitton created and put all the history into this bag. That's why I love it so much. If you compare it, look, the length and the width is the same. If you look at the height, the trunk can fit to a petit mal, but otherwise it's really very, very similar, right? This core high leather is black and this is brown, so it looks a little bit different, but guys, love it. What you really have to know if you want to use it is that the Inside measurements are obviously different to the outside. The inside length is 17 centimeters and the width is 9.5 centimeters. When I browse the Louis Vuitton website just to check if they've got different dividers that will be more suitable for this trunk, I came across to one and I will show you the one that I found here. But again, it's 17.5 centimeters in length and that would be 0.5 centimeters too long. I'm not sure if you can squeeze it in. I haven't tried it, haven't seen it even. But as a jewelry like divider, it was much better because you can sort of uh, pick it up, like pull it with your hands up so the jewelry would not uh, slide or do anything like that. If you really want to use it for jewelry, I am pretty sure you can talk to Louis Vuitton and they can make it to measure. I don't know what else to say to you. I think every single Louis Vuitton lover or collector should have at least one of the trunks. As I said, there are so many to choose from, so I'm pretty sure everyone will find their little baby. 
and would I recommend it? Definitely yes. And if you are after one franc, get it as soon as possible because as you know, Louis Vuitton increases prices every year. So next year the prices will be again higher. So as soon as you get hands on one, it's better. And Christmas is coming, so why not to make yourself one happy Christmas? That was it guys from uh, the Louis Vuitton Coffre Trésor 20 review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer all of them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really love to see you in my next video. Have a lovely day guys and take care of yourself. Ciao!